I'm gonna flip the camera. Get this set up while I'm waiting on everyone to pop in. Okay, I think that's good. I'll find this over here on the um, iPad so I can read comments. Why is everything so slow? <clears throat> okay. There we go. So when you pop in, tell me hi so I know who's here with me tonight. Um, I'm going to try and finish this wreath that I started last night. This one. Let me just pull it over here. You remember, um, I'll just give it a few more minutes. I see someone's here, but I don't know who it is. Kate. Hello, Kate. Hello, Linda. I get Kate popping up twice. Okay, so <clears throat> I started this wreath last night because I had some leftover. I'm, I'm ready to start fall. And I had some, um, still had some red, white, and blue, and I wanted to finish it off because I always feel like if I don't use everything, then um, I don't know. I don't like holding it over. If I don't use everything, then I'm leaving, you know, I, I just don't like it. So I'm trying to use all the stuff, all the things. So we used this mesh, it's red, white, and blue. Um, and I did the poofs around the outer ring and the inside ring, and I did them about eight inches long. Um, I'm fairly new to the mesh world. And so, um, hello, Chrissy. Um, Hi, Kate. I don't know if you heard me the first time. So anyways, I got all the uh, ribbon tails on. I decided I wasn't going to do a bow. I got all the ribbon tails on the wreath, and then I ran out of this ribbon. <clears throat> so my plan was that I was going to go back to the store today and get more of this. But then if I didn't use all of that, then I'd feel like I had to do something again. So, um, and I just don't go to Wally World on the weekends. <laughs> Hi, Judy. How are you? Um, so, I just, I was thinking about it all day and what I wanted to do with it. And I look, happened to look over and there's this material. And I don't know if you guys can tell, but it's got sparkly, um, it's got glitter on it. So I decided, and the other thing wrong with last night is I did not have the right sign. So I made a sign, and I've got one more piece to put on it, which is glitter, um, because this is the glitter wreath. And then when I found this, what I decided to do, let me push this back, because I don't think you're seeing the whole table. I should mark, like, um, put a little mark on the tripod where I, so I know where it goes every night. So I cut these strips like this. And I'm not, because um, normally you would put the ribbon down here as well. And I just didn't want to go back. So I decided I'd cut this ribbon and these, or this material, and these, um, this is very un unconventional, by the way, and these strips, and then I gather it to make like a little bow thing, right? And so where I don't have the ribbon on the bottom, I am I have put that in. Um, I think it goes with it because of the glitter. I don't know if that's showing well on the camera or not. And I think the color's a good match. Um, I'm really not worried that it's not ribbon because it's, it's doing the job that I want it to do, which is um, giving me another layer on this wreath and filling in a little bit so 
like I said, it's not very conventional, but I'm going to go with it. Because that's how we figure out new things. Um, so, the other thing I decided to do was, um, I had these fireworks. I decided not to do, use them. We decided last night to go with these. And it's some stars and flags in a pick. I have two of them. Last night when I left you, I had them both on. I took one off because I have to place my sign somewhere. Um, and so it was probably going to go right where I had the pick. But the other thing I decided to add to this, to add something extra to it, are these little guys right here. You can see those. It's going to add a little shine, and it also matches these picks I have in it. So what I did was I made... Uh, as many as I needed of these circles and this is what I did this is just um, I think I used this in another live when I made my big firecrackers so I just wrapped it around my hand three times this is wired so I cut it see I knew I would have what it took to finish this if I just like got a little bit creative so then I wrapped what I cut off around so it would hold it in a circle. And then I'm gonna wire it on top of um, the ribbons. And once I get it attached, I'm gonna spread them out like this. So they kind of have a dimensional effect, just like I've done on these two. This one and that one. So that's where we're at. Um, I made my sign. It says the same thing as the other one, only it's a better size for that size of wreath. I do have to, uh, I'm gonna wire it on. I have to put holes in it. Um, top, I usually do top, one at the top, one at the bottom, and I just wire it to the frame. Um, that's also different than a lot of other people do, but it's just the way I've always done it. So, We'll try it this way, and if I don't like the way it looks, I'll change it later, and I'll start making them different. It do, it kind of fits in, though, when I do, I told you guys I do more grapevine wreaths, like this one I made last week. Um, I do more of this type of thing than the mesh, so I'm pretty new to the mesh world. But it's beautiful, and so I'm trying to um, do some, but without losing, um, I don't know, the look that I have with stuff. I don't know what you call it. <laughs> Anyways, so that's where we're at. Now, the other thing I want to do with the sign is I want to add some glitter. So I have this. This is my favorite all-time glitter. It's, it's not going to show, but it's ultraviolet, extra fine. Or you can go chunky like this. I think I'm going to use the extra fine. And the way I get that to stick is I could spray a sealer on this or this is um, adhesive spray. So I'm just going to do a real quick, I don't want it up here on the table. A real quick spray of it you don't want to use too much because it will yellow if you use too much and then I want to put the glitter on it and that I don't know if you guys can see that or not and that's probably really not gonna but those little bits of purple, I always buy the iridescent because the little bits of purple in there really like pop. So that's all I wanted to do to the sign to finish it up. And now I'll set that aside so it can dry a little bit. And um, I'm gonna put these pieces here I've cut along the bottom and then I'll put the sign on and then we're gonna put these on and it should be, I sprayed that on my arm, it's sticky now. Um, then we should be all good. So, <clears throat> I just put these, I cut them, two pieces of the material, 
Um, and normally I wouldn't do that, but like I said, I didn't have enough ribbon and I didn't want to make another 